Good day. I'm not sure if this is working. Hang on, let me get this all sorted out. I'm on my laptop, so I'm not sure how this works. Uh, full screen application. Entire screen. Done. There we go. Okay. So, bear with me because I'm on a laptop and it only has one screen. So I'm going to have the chat here. And for whatever reason, I can't record on my Camtasia. I will have to sort that out for Wednesday. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Sorry for not being around. I was on the road all day today. And I am back to back to normal. Well, not back tomorrow. I'm on holidays. So I'm going to do this recording. We'll spend a couple hours doing this. Um, let's just time this so I know how long that we're doing because it's easy to get sucked into the details and forget all about it. Let me know if you can hear me because I don't actually know if this works or not. That would be super. Um, there is a recording, I think, on Twitch. So I may have to use that as the editing version. Um, I do have the chat open, so if you are watching, just let me know if you can hear me or not. I'm using a different microphone on the laptop. I'd be curious to know if it works. Uh, otherwise, what are we doing? We are going to continue on with the A Week in Bin Long. Uh, we are on turn 77. We're in the middle of day two. We shall be continuing. Uh, we did run into some enemies last time. Let's just go over the overview map and do a quick refresher. Uh, let's see. Zoom in. So my laptop is a lot slower than my main machine, so we'll have to bear with me. It's appreciated. So again, purple is what we've done. Red is what we are forced to do. We have second 28th coming into clear area Georgia as well as clear this road and build a firebase. And we have 1st 16th going to clear area Minnesota as well as build a firebase. And we have 2nd 2nd arriving in area Arizona and clearing that. We are transferring these troops by air while a convoy is meandering towards the towards Canton. Now we can actually move these up here because they have pretty well made it to that intersection at least. We just started maneuvering these troops across, so that's a good thing. Uh, we have run into some enemy at the area Georgia firebase. We are dealing with them, so let's go see what's going on and let's catch up to see what we're doing. Uh, now we'll notice that since I'm on my laptop, all the defaults are changed. So I'm going to go through, and if you're following along, these are the settings that I typically use for my game. One, I use screen edge window scrolling. The toolbar, I always change to color. And I like the larger buttons. Additionally, we are going to elevation deltas change to one. It's, in some cases, if this defaulted to three, you want to switch that so that it's changed to one. Uh, depending on which update you're using, etc. That's how you want to do that for sure. My animation speed is uh, normal. Reports, details, or high details. And that's I turn off the background music and background sounds just so you can hear me. Uh, otherwise, I think those are the legit settings that I typically use. Okay, let's turn off labels. And let's pan around and see what the heck's going on. Check out our... He still has not recovered his ammo yet, so we will leave him sitting there. Let's just go to a higher zoom level. So we have helicopters. They are transferring. What are they? Hey, John. Thanks for tuning in. Really, really appreciate it. Let me know if you can hear me, John. Uh, I'm on my laptop, and I don't know the effectiveness of this system. You'll see that I have everything on one screen. That is because I am literally on my laptop. So it is a little more of a challenge because at my at home I have two machines. 
or two screens for my machines. Uh, what do we have? We have infantry. And where are they going to go? Where are they going to go? Let's just zoom out a bit here. Oh, yes, they're going to go here. Drop down. Just turn that down a little bit so we don't get overwhelmed. Yay. These guys are walking. This guy will go this way. And we have to load up these mortars. Get them off the ground. Send them towards the fire base. We're not going to haul those in the woods. So yeah, let's just start flying towards the firebase. We have helicopters on the ground. We have a task force headquarters that we're using to refuel helicopters, which is great. Actually, I should have landed those here. That was my own mistake. We have gunships. Let's get them back in the sky and provide some air support. on the ground so we don't want to cross this river so let's stay off that and let's go capture that point these trucks are going to come over here and haul this guy away these engineers have cleared the road now so we can hop in the trucks Meander down the road. So I am using the 1.23 update, and this update should be available, I am hoping, probably mid to the second or third week of October. And this has some minor improvements, as well as the sound improvements that we have been focusing on, especially for the aircraft. Uh, lots of finesse and details with that, so that's fantastic. Uh, yeah, look forward to that. We're just doing some testing. This is live testing. Yay. Let's, I'm gonna change the scrolling because it's driving me crazy. I'm used to zooming the other way. Standard, there we go. Now we're back to normal. So yay for standard scrolling. Uh, let's see. Here is where we ran into the VC there. So we're just digging in, and we're going to wait for our gunships, which have arrived. So next turn, we're going to go and do some hunting and take out those VC platoons. We have supplies. They're waiting. We have this extra platoon. Oh, what the heck? There's a sniper or something right here. Uh, we want to highlight. That's another thing. We want to highlight. Options. I want to keep the 3D spot so I know what I'm talking about. So you can actually see what I'm talking about. So yeah, this here, we're going to highlight. That's important. We can even change the color of that, I think. X highlights. Display. Where's the colors? Where are the colors? Hex outlines. Yes, hex highlight colors. Let's go yellow. There we go. That's nice and bright. There, you can see that really well now. All right. So we have mortars here. We have artillery battery. We have a machine gun. A whole bunch of armed trucks, which is fantastic. And that's that. Okay. Let's go down south. We have done everything here. Let's scroll down. We've done everything there. Let's continue to scroll down. And these guys are ready. I don't think we can load. Yeah, they're B-class, so they can't load. We did find a sniper here, but we took that out, and now we're recapturing that location. Uh, I have a black box outlined in purple lower left corner saying no webcam detected. Not sure if that's on... Oh, let's see. Ah, uh, yes, I see that. How do I remove that? How do I remove that? Let's... Uh, I have the camera turned off. Let's 
settings, stream quality, recording. Again, sorry about this, everyone. I am still trying to figure this out. Show camera. No, we don't want that. Show stream status. Position, scale. Now it's still there, eh? Edit. Webcam. Turn it off. Ah, there we go. Let's see. Is that better now? Oops. I want to save. Is that better, John? stuff. Lock the layout. Move that over here so I can still read the chat. But we can still see what's important. Is that better, John, now? Can you let me know? Your presentation is also very choppy and cuts in and out. Ah, that's probably because I'm on Wi-Fi. Hopefully the recording is going to be better because uh, yeah, that's better. Okay, that's good. I'll I'll move things slowly then. Yeah, I'm on my grandmother's Wi-Fi, so she's not. It's not high end by any means. But I still wanted to do the stream anyways. But hopefully the recording is better. So maybe if you don't want to watch the choppiness, maybe watch it on YouTube. But uh, I appreciate you being here. If you have any questions, please ask. I'm always happy to answer. We have this company is back at the fire base now. These guys are all good. I'll just I'll just leave it here for a second just so you can see what I'm seeing. Uh, we have some pink teams. We have infantry two infantry companies that have arrived. We have a third company. It must be out in the field. We're just building some stuff here, building trenches. We built some trenches there. These here, we're going to build some trenches there, and eventually we'll build some trenches there. I think that these guys belong to that mortar, so we're going to move that entire company to this hex here, and that'll protect this portion of this hill. Uh, yeah, these are our supply trucks. They have started the countdown, which will boost up our supply back up to 100 again. That's fantastic. I, I I'm very happy that we have exceptional supply. We have a couple of ravens here. These troops. So everything here is, this is the 1st 16th Battalion. That's all highlighted. These are the weapons company and the supply vehicles. Um, basically the vehicles that are there for the battalion to move around if we need to. All our heavy weapons are here. The machine guns, our reconnaissance team, the sniper. Where is the sniper anyways? Did we lose the sniper? Did the sniper die? The sniper must have died because we no longer have a sniper. Yeah, I don't see a sniper anymore. Uh, that's unfortunate. Anyways, so what we are doing is here you can see we've built some IEDs and we're going to continue on with that trend and build another one here. So lesson learned from last time, last session, is that even though we laid the IEDs, we still can enter them and they set them off. So we have to be careful of to have not set IEDs in locations where we want to have a thorough, you know, right of way through. So things to keep in mind when you're setting up your IEDs. We want to put a ring around this city, all the cities actually. They all want to have a ring around of IEDs so we can figure out where the VC are coming from. But that being said, we want to make sure that we're leaving holes in our line so that we can move freely in and out without setting them off. Because every time you set them off, they disappear, right? Unfortunately, they're only level 1 IED, so they're not going to do a lot of damage.
but they will do something. If anything, they'll provide warning. So let's. So we're we're good here. They're doing everything they need to do. Let's go up to log in and make sure that our yeah these guys they can't set an IED because they have low ammo. So we're gonna leave them there. This guy he tried, and our dozers are slowly trying to make it to this hilltop over here, so we can turn these IPs improved positions into trenches. That's what we want to do. Um, I'm yeah. Based on what John said, I'm not going to be moving around as much as I as I normally would. I'll try and be a little more methodical so that the movement isn't as choppy. Uh, sorry about that, John. Okay, here our base. We have some helicopters. We have a couple. We have a supply truck, and then we have a convoy coming. Where's our convoy? There it is. So let's move this down the road. Let's just get this all down the road together. That way we're not changing the screen and you can see what I'm doing. So these are the... 2nd, 33rd artillery vehicles, if I recall correctly. And they're going to that, we're moving them all to the airfield at uh, that lock here. Yeah, it is absolutely the Wi-Fi. Terribly sorry about that. If it is going to be this bad, I might just do a recording, if I can get my Camtasia to work. And just post them to YouTube for the sessions for this week coming for Wednesday and Sunday. Because if it's not going to be a good experience, then yeah, I don't know if I want to do that then. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see how the rest of the session goes, John. And let me know your your honest thoughts. And down here. These guys have started. Let's get them digging. Uh, we do have our gunships good. We have supply caches. They're building in trenches. We have our first infantry here. Yay! Uh, but we were getting them in trucks because we were going to move them. That's why these are all trucks. So let's zoom out a bit. And let's figure it. We want to send one up to here and one up to here. So let's uh, send a couple this way. <laughs> Here we have uh, escort vehicles, but we're not going to use them at the moment. We'll just leave them there on the road. And otherwise, let's move the rest of these vehicles since we're here. You know, for the size of this scenario, I thought I'd have more performance issues. Just because of the size of this scenario, but so far it's fine. I have no problems. Like the movement is good. I'm quite happy about that. This battalion, these are the vehicles of the second second that I'm moving now. These all these vehicles are all going to Conthan. So I'm just doing this in a couple of steps so that it's easy for me to watch my vehicles and make sure that they go on the road. Last thing I want to do is have them start meandering off in the middle of nowhere, which if you're not careful, that's how the pathing is sometimes. These two are the the brigade supply vehicles that have to go to Conthan, and then they have to go to Anlock, and then they have to go to Loch Ninn. So these guys have a long road ahead of them. Lots of it'll take two days, I think, for them to finish all the tasks that they, that they need to do. And now, most importantly, we are flying our helicopters. But 
have a helicopter here that is being refueled. Let's get them in the sky, get them start flying that way. That means we have a couple more helicopters, which we do. And get them in the high flight zone. And then our schnook. Shoot. Our schnook. We're going to fly down to Fok Bin, which is here. We can drop down, and then we can't drop down any further, but at least it's at the airfield. So we are, are ferrying our troops here, which is good. And that's all we're going to do for this turn, so let's save it and see what happens. Again, thanks for tuning in, John. I really appreciate it. So here we hear a whole bunch of NBA moving in the background. Most of this is going to be the NBA. more there than I thought. There's at least two platoons there. company there. Oh crap. Oh, what is that? Ah, oh, what the heck is that? I don't know what that is. It's way too heavy caliber to be a sniper. We have a full infantry company. We have a some sort of heavy weapon there. What the heck is going on? Okay, for clearing and maintaining the area of Minnesota for four turns, we have gained 2,000 points. Good. But we're being attacked in area something. That's not good. Three airstrikes remaining. Four headquarters. Unable to provide supply. One artillery unit unavailable. Five units low on ammo. And we have built some improved positions, which is great. But we have a problem, so let's go check out this problem. Um... And I don't have enough strength points to get into that hex. Crap. We do have infantry, so let's get these in trenches. What do we have here? We have a... Okay, our construction platoon are running away. We need to save that. That's high priority. Ah, we have our gunships. Okay, so let's try and draw some fire. is that? There's another one in there. Let's fly around. Okay, we, we know that there's something there, so I'm gonna do a... Uh, I'm gonna drop down, and I'm gonna do a recon. Nothing. Crap. Let's try it again. Ah, oh, there we go. What is that? Oh no, that's a recoilless rifle. Okay, so I have to watch my trucks and make sure that they don't come in range of that because they'll get destroyed. Can you see what's going on, John? Okay, we have hogs though. So this is going to be a priority target for me because that a bunch of stuff and we don't want that targeting our artillery so let's drop down get two hexes away because these are hogs and let's see if we can destroy those things no. okay now i do have another hog over here should i should i focus on that recordless rifle 
Or should I focus on all of this infantry that has suddenly appeared? What do you think? I'll leave that decision up to you. Recordless rifle or infantry? Oh, man. That's a tough call, actually. That's really a tough call. Um, and these trucks right now are pretty much useless. Oh, they did this did fire twice. We can shoot at that. You know what? Let's do that. While you guys are deciding, I'm going to take these trucks. And I'm going to shoot at this. And see if we can now. No. No. Okay, let's pull our trucks back because we need to save them. What about our mortars? Let's try our mortars. Huh. Okay then. Let's, uh. Well, let's just drop down. Move a little closer. And let's attack this platoon here. <laughs> So this is all rockets. Nothing really happened. But, you know what? Let's take our loach. We're going to leave it high. We're going to fly over here. Or in the low flight zone. And what we're going to do is we're going to see if there's anything else that's going to pop up back here. Uh, right now we have some infantry that's defending. We have a company... Plus two platoons, reinforced company. We have artillery. We do want to take this little freaking thing out, though. Oh, there we go. We reduced it at least. Okay, that's good. We reduced that company. And we gained some points for that. Okay, we're being attacked, but we're okay. Um, I think they have, they must have suffered some casualties because they haven't attacked yet, or they tried to, but no assaulting, so that's okay. All right, let's, uh, continue on with our laying IEDs. That didn't work. Let's move our dozers across the river and slowly get there. That's a long hallway. These guys are still low on ammo. What do we have here? Mortars, so we can send them directly to the firebase. Although we're not going to put this helicopter on the ground just for the simple reason that we don't want to have our helicopters in a precarious position with the all that VC around there. Okay, now there was a position here that is still owned by the VC. So well, let's double time this guy, go up this to capture that. And let's send this guy down into, oh, there's a bunker there. Oh man, there's a lot of stuff in this back area. Holy, okay, this one we're going to take off and drop down here. We're going to refuel that helicopter and then both of these helicopters are going to fly over to here. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. We only have the two teams up here, pink teams, right? I think. Yes, I think that is correct. Uh, this guy. We're going to send him back down to the truck. So let's double time him through the woods. And we'll get on this trail down to here. So that our truck can pick it up. These engineers are continuing on with their duty. Clearing blocks and minefields on LTL 17 on this loop road. While this is being attacked. Damn, didn't see that coming. Okay, let's uh, go check out our... Special Forces unit, he's still screwed, so let's forget about him. Uh, that's all done. And up here, 
We're gonna load up our truck, our guy, bring him back down to the base. Back at the base as well. These infantry can all start going to here. This can start to help to build. So this is the fire base at Minnesota. Which is, it's complete. The only thing that we're doing now is just reinforcing it. Because all of our troops here need to spend the night. Um... We do have some Arvin trucks helping out with uh, supply. They don't need to. Uh, we can probably move all these gunships and stuff back to the base here and then not worry about them if we need to later in the future. Yeah, so we'll we'll start doing that actually. The other thing we can do is move these gunships over to this airfield over here. So let's do that. Let's get them up. We're not threatened right now, so let's move them out of the way. That way we're not going to be attacked in case there's any VC mortars around cuz that with my luck that would happen. And we're going to push these over here. Hey, Stipe. How's it going? Good to see you. Uh fair warning. I'm traveling right now. I'm on my laptop, so the experience is not going to be as good as normal. Um, I'm on one screen, hence you can see the actual chat. Otherwise, I can't see what you're saying. And, uh, yeah, let me know if it's okay. And we're going to move these supply trucks back to this airfield down here. That way it's a full airfield. These guys are pretty much done. These, oh, they lost their ammo status. So we're going to hang out, wait for them. Hey, expats, I hope you're doing well. Thanks for joining. I really appreciate it. So far, we're doing good. Our fire base here in Missouri is pretty much done. Oh, hey, Stipe, check this out. Hey, expats, check this out. You mind turning the game volume out? Yeah, I can totally do that. Game volume. Let's just make sure that's the only one. Yeah, that is. Let's see. Let's see if that is better. I'm just going to move a truck. Hang on. Is that better? I saw you moving that huge convoy earlier. Yeah, okay. Perfect. Sorry about that. Thanks for the feedback. I have it turned down on my main machine, but this is a laptop, obviously, so I don't have all the settings done properly. Uh, anyways, check this out, Stipe. We're having a bad day. Look at that. There's a recordless rifle here. I think there was a sniper down here, but it moved. I don't know where it moved to. Um, we have four platoons of VC that have just came out of nowhere. But we have decent positions here. We have lots of trenches, we have lots of infantry, and we do have some gunships. And even better, there are hogs. So we're really happy to have hogs here. So this is okay. I'm not worried about this yet, mainly because this is a disorganized attack. They're not attacking together. I'm curious to see what's going to happen during the next turn to see if they can get their... I hope they don't, but maybe if they can get their stuff together, we'll be concerned. Right now they are blocking our main supply route though. That's not good. But otherwise, it's okay. But if you call in an airstrike... Oh yeah! Let's call in an airstrike. Just for Stipe. Okay. Or, let's Actually, you know, we have three. Let's call in all three. So let's call in... in what do you want to hear? Tell me what you want to hear, Stipe. What do we have? We have A4s. F4s, F105s, and A1s. Napalm. Ah, oh, you want me to burn my napalm already? <sighs> okay. Just for you, Stipe. Just because I'm nice. There you go. There's an F4 with napalm coming in. 
and let's uh, call in some A4 with bombs. And let's call in some A4 with rockets. Uh, can we see? Yeah, we can see that still. Okay. Positive vibes. So remind me at the end of the turn to turn up the volume a little bit just for just for that sake, okay? Remind me, otherwise I'll forget. Anyways, we have a low chair to keep on keep eyes in the background to see if there's anything else back here. And we have the other loach. Uh, it ran. We did some recon. It revealed this. And we did shoot with our basically everything here. That could shoot, did shoot. We did reduce it by one. But there's still one there. So we're kind of worried. Because that can take out our gun. And we don't want that. That's a bad day. Okay. That's the problem at the moment. And here we've done all that we are going to do there. And oh, we didn't do this yet, so let's just move these guys up to here. So these vehicles belong to the 2nd 33rd Artillery Battalion, and I just wanted to move them all so that they're here. All these vehicles are here. And the headquarters is here as well, which I'm going to be devious and put that with their helicopters, so we can refuel them and be all together. So these helicopters are reconnaissance helicopters, but they're not very good at taking fire because they only have a defense of seven. That's not very good at all. And this is the supply truck that belongs to this battalion, and these are just spare vehicles. Oh, we have machine guns. So let's unload these machine guns if we can. Yes. So we'll start building defensive positions around here just to secure this airfield. We'll probably put some improved positions on the runway itself and then build this into uh, into some improved positions and leave the machine guns there. That gives them a pretty good field of fire over this whole entire area. Uh, machine guns can't lay claymores, so that's unfortunate. Uh, these guys can't do anything yet. And I think we just have our units to move down here. So this one did not have IEDs around it yet. No, not yet. And this guy's going to go up. There's, where's the road? There's the road. We're going to drop this guy off here, have him go up the trail to collect that point. And then these two platoons are going to go up into here to collect these points. That should secure all of that area. And here we can unload this guy, which means our helicopter is totally out of stuff. We have some gunships down here, which is fantastic. Quite a few gunships down here, actually. We have infantry and our helicopters. Everyone is moving towards Fuak Vin, which is down here. Let's just zoom in, see where we're going to land. Let's drop down some, yeah, so now we can't drop down any further, but we can drop a couple here, and we'll move this one to prepare to land there. We can land our Chinook, and we can pick up something. Let's pick up the mortars, because those are the most pain in the rear to move, and we have enough to take off again. And we can move a few hexes, five hexes, I think. Not enough to move into the high level because we need 20, but at least we can get it moving. All right. And this is the only thing that's left is this moving this column. And their destination is right here. This entire column is just going, going there. So we will sort out the vehicles and whatnot once it's all there. Looks like it'll take a couple of turns to get all the, everyone where they need to be. Unacceptable. Mm -hmm. 
Hey, Compass Rose. Good to see you. Thanks for joining. I'm really glad everyone tuned in. Thank you so much. That's fantastic. I wasn't sure anyone was going to show up just because I'm so late today. So thank you. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, Compass Rose, fair warning. I'm on my laptop and I'm on my grandmother's Wi-Fi, so the experience might not be that awesome. I will apologize in advance for that. And the other thing is that we're being attacked. And we have airstrikes coming in. So you'll be able to hear, hopefully, some of the new sounds. Uh, they're not 100% done yet, fair warning. But they are a huge improvement over to what they were before. Even with the gunship sounds. Um, there's new gunship sounds, so you can identify which gunship is attacking. No ambush on that con Not They're not going to be an ambush on this convoy, no. Not today. We already have enough problems for today. So remember, I'm I'm nice in the sense that I ease you into this scenario. Your first day is, you know, moving things around, trying to figure out where stuff is. You might get some attacks, but it's going to be nothing too crazy. Day two, you have a few more attacks. So as you see, we've been running into... Uh, you haven't seen anything? Oh, that's good to hear, x -Buts. Thanks for letting me know. I've been kind of worried. Um... Day two, we're having more attacks. Uh, we've been shot at. We have a company attacking us now. We lost one of our LRRP teams to a sniper. That kind of still hurts. That stings still. Day three, we'll get more complicated. Day four, we'll get even more complicated. By the time day seven comes, you're going to freaking hate this scenario because there's so much going on and so much action everywhere. It'll be fun. It'll be so fun. You have no idea how much I'm looking forward to it. It's so exciting. I need to get out more. But damn. Okay. Let me turn up the volume. Just because I'm going to end the turn. And you're going to hear a lot of NVA movement. I'm just going to crank it up to, to there. I think that'll be enough for now. And let's just put this out of the way. There we go. So saving. Ending the turn. Let's see what happens. We have to go through all the VC movement. Oh no! What's that? Uh, I'm just going to screenshot that. That's my Lua. So that's probably an area thing. Hang on. I might even be able to correct that quickly. Uh, what am I looking for? Snip. Snipping tool. See what happens. Okay. So we'll go in to the file after we take a look at this, just to see what that error is. It shouldn't have. I uh, see that recovery rifle is firing at us. We can't see it now. It's hidden again. say a few minutes ago that an enemy sniper took out a hole. Yeah, it did, unfortunately. But what we did is we boosted up the defenses of the LRRPs, which you'll see in 1.23. They were 10, but we bumped them up to 14. So that'll help them survive those, you know, in-your-face sniper shots, but not make them totally invincible. We might dial it back to 12 we'll have to we want to see how it is right just to make sure that it's okay so again we have a lot of movement in the background and now hopefully our airstrikes will come in one airstrike remaining four headquarters unable to provide supply five units low on ammo and we have built some improved positions so the jets bombing. Nice. And now let's see what else. Being attacked. Flying. Bombing. <laughs> yeah, that's so cool. Love it. Fantastic. 
Okay, let's crank that down. It is interesting to see that on your grandmas you can receive chat posts a lot quicker when they move at home. Oh, that is interesting. That is interesting indeed. So I, I bought the volume down to 5 again because I want to hear it too. There's that. Okay, before we do anything else, I'm going to save it here. And I'm going to exit out. And I'm going to go into our, our file and see what that problem is. Uh, let's go to our Lua file. You you can show you can watch me do some quick edits here. Uh, where is it? Sixty six. Lua. Let's open that. Sometimes on dual monitor setup, it's easier to get wrapped up in the game and not look over at a chat. Yeah, no, that's true. Good point. Okay. Um, we want to go to line. 30,631. So yeah, there you go. There's a lot of freaking codes in here. Thank you for your patience. Let's just take a look. 30,000. And what was it? 30,361. 30,361. So yeah, in order to make this game work, it's taken, you know, 30,000 lines of code to program the AI. 361, 361. Rifle company move fire waypoint. What was the error? Compared number with nil. sure why that's coming up as a nil that might be have to be something that I'd talk to with Birdo but yeah so I'll figure that out for the future let's go back into the game because that shouldn't be reflecting as a number it should be reflecting as a true or a false unless I did something wrong which is totally possible save game let's go back into the live version so I won't bore you with that uh, the details there but yeah so every company has missions that it needs to to do and once that mission is done it, it moves on to the next mission and then once that mission is done it goes on to the next mission, and so on, and so on. So each day, depending on when the company get, you know, for simplicity's sake, I don't have all the VC units starting on the map. I bring them on on a day by day basis, or I'll have them come on and move to where they're going to go, and that just helps keep the game more manageable in the sense that we don't have to wait half an hour for units to move. That we don't need to have them moving while we're waiting. So little things like that, I've tried to help expedite the process, though. By day seven, it will take a lot longer to play through the turns, just for the simple fact that there's going to be hundreds of units on the map. But right now, it's pretty simple, and the VC aren't doing too bad. Uh, let's turn off the labels again, and let's... Now we lost line of sight to everything, so we have to go find everything again. So let's go for a cruise. So we found them. And we know that there's something here. Oh, where'd they go? Let's uh, do a recon. Nothing. Let's do a recon again. Nothing. Where'd they go? Oh, man. Kind of nervous. Where'd they go? Oh no! Oh no! Oh. oh no! Double oh no! Oh. 
So, yeah. These loaches, they have a defense of 12. So they're, they're okay for soaking up fire. They're not invincible. So that's why I have to think about the LRP units here. Notice that I changed them to... Where'd they go? Here they are. I noticed I changed them to 14 for a defense. That's a lot. That's a lot. So we might have to reduce that, but I want to to try that just to see how it goes. Anyways, back to the the adventure. There's another platoon. It's disappeared. I don't know where it went. And it's kind of unnerving that we don't know where it went. Seriously, do I should be doing this from the bathroom? Seriously, because it's kind of scary. Okay, we've lost the platoon. We don't know where it went, and we have uh, we have some targets. So let's just... Oh no, I misclicked! <laughs> oh no, I misclicked and targeted this grass. That was a fail. Clearly, my gunship uh, pilots are drinking too much. Damn it. Okay, uh, we know that there's a recoilless rifle there. We're gonna go attack it. Ah! What the heck? There's a sniper there. There's a sniper there. There's a recoilless rifle here. So let's start... Let's start attacking. And we're going to bring our machine gun down. Uh, these mortars, let's try and hit that sniper. We know it's there somewhere. Man. And let's hit... The okay, so we can't target that because it's not... We don't know... We can't target it. Literally. We know it's there. We can't target it. So it's just two indirect fires. Once on the sniper here and the other on the recordless rifle. And next turn we can try and assault and at least take care of that. Man. What do we have here? More mortars. But we can land those. So we can get these on the ground. Let's unload. And get our helicopter off the ground. And we're going to send our helicopter back to Loch Ninn, which is just up north here. Otherwise, we do have our task force headquarters which needs to come over here. So let's get that in the sky, bring it over here. And we're not gonna land, but we'll land next turn. And this helicopter we can take off and go up to Loch Ninn for now while these guys do their job. Oh, freaking seriously? Ran into a minefield. I hope everyone took a drink. Uh, this guy needs to go back up. Yeah, no, the sounds, they're way better now. You can identify the helicopters based on what's flying. See? Huey. Small turbine. And then if we go down to the Raven, you'll hear the difference in the sound because it was a piston helicopter. So listen. See the differences? freaking awesome. Really, that's awesome. Little details like that. And here, even listen to, uh, where are this? Here, listen to the snakes when they fire. I'm going to fire these snakes now. Listen to this. So it's a combination of machine gun and rockets. Because they're snakes. They're, that's what they were. But the hogs, it's all rockets. But these ones, they're multi-armed, right? So, yeah, we have the, the combination of the two, which is awesome. Let's get them on the ground. So these guys are refueling. Perfect. Yeah, so now, yeah, it, you have more... What's the word we're looking for? You have more immersion, I guess, just because of the sounds that you're hearing now. And, yeah, you can identify identify the units better just by how they sound, which is kind of cool. I really like that. I think that's awesome. 
Now all these guys are going to dig in. Here we're going to build another trench just because we can. This guy, we can bring him back. We'll leave these guys out here. Protecting our supplies while they're resupplying our firebase. So with the resupplies, you only need to get within... For your, your firebase missions to supply them, you need to get within five or six hexes. If you can get within five or six hexes of your firebase, then you've kind of made it to... We just assume you made it there. And if that's the case, you just need to leave your trucks there for five turns. I believe it's five turns, and once those five turns are up, you can send them back. Now you got. To, now you just need to add the ghost tapes from Operation Wandering Soul. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. There you go. Touche, sir. Touche. Uh, can this guy build something yet? No, he cannot. These guys can work out onto the airfield though and start digging in there. We have a headquarters here. Let's leave them there and move these trucks out of the way. Let's put them all into these woods. These are arm trucks. These are useful trucks. Very useful trucks. Huh. Something to keep in mind. If I need to have this infantry battalion mobile, I have extra trucks for that. Because right now I only have one set. Oh, you know what? Let's just move these trucks all the way up there. Because that's where they're going to be needed. Next mission. We're not sure what the next mission is going to be, but we're going to assume we can drive there. So if we can drive there, we'll use those two companies of armed trucks to do that. Okay. Can we do anything else? I, I don't think I want to do anything else at this location because I want them to come to me. I'm in good defensive positions. You know what we can do, though? Let's just hit a couple of mortar spots right there. We have one more. Let's hit that spot as well. I'm in trenches. I don't want to go out hunting, except for this area because that's a recoilless rifle that can do the most damage. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go deal with that, and then we'll deal with this company. Okay, down here we've done that. I, what is this? Oh man, we have supply trucks down here. Who are they? Who do these guys belong to? Let's check that out. Ah, the second. So yeah, this logistical unit is part of these units here, the artillery battalion headquarters. But that gives us another another supply truck for putting out a, uh, an airfield or something like that which we can do we can move that we can move this American supply truck or leave it here and again move these Arvin supply trucks out to wherever we need them for me the Arvin supply trucks are <coughs> expendable uh, whereas the American ones aren't okay let's go south and we are moving to that location and we're going to unload go for a walk and then over here we're going to do the same but where are we going to go Oops. we're going to send one truck there and the other truck is going to drive up through the tall grass up to that location unload the infantry do their thing uh, these jeeps, they've done what they need to. Great. Now, you know what? Since we're here, almost here, we do have our engineers. Perfect. I'm going to send the engineers all the way up there. Oh, display, options, hex highlights, shading, because I prefer shading. So, notice there's a block here. I'm going to remove that block just to make my life a lot easier. And anything that I see around here that's causing an issue, I'm going to start clearing it out. And then we'll work on building the improved positions. Oh, look at that. We built a trench already. 
This is going to be our next spot. What do we have? Armored vehicles. Them on the road. These are jeeps with machine guns. So, these are reconnaissance units. Let's put everything up here. Does everyone else place their artillery fire on spots where VC are anticipated? They usually just place them where they are and tend to hit them. Well, they don't take any damage, but I hit their location at least. Does everyone place their artillery fire on spots where... Yeah, typically, depending on what the attack is going to be, I'm noticing that in this case, they're not really... They're not really attacking, and if they are going to attack, they're going to attack in this direction. So I'm hoping that they come into here. If not, then I just wasted some artillery. But I know there's artillery here, or there's a, a sniper here, and I know there's a recoilless rifle there, so I definitely put the artillery there. This unit might not do anything, so we might get lucky there. Let's go back to where we were. So I have highlight units or organization checked on. It helps me keep track of who's going where. Here we have more engineers. Uh, let's see. Let's just unload them and we can start deciding where we're going to put them. All of our armored vehicles. What's all this? This is a full infantry company. With its mortars. is a massive artillery battery. Heck yeah. That's awesome. Let's unload that. 155. Whoa. And a task force headquarters. Perfect. So this is also a task force headquarters. Let's unload that next turn. We have an engineering truck, but we don't have engineers. Cavalry vehicles. Another engineer. Empty trucks. So this goes with that. Let's let's go in. What's what's going on here? This task force headquarters belongs to I don't know what. Oh, the infantry battalion. Duly noted. I recently played the mall scenario and I laughed at the VC kept on shooting at the pad and tanks with Yeah. I should fix that, you're right. The problem is, is that they also want to uh, attack APCs, and I, I would have to figure out a way that I can code them to focus mostly on the APCs as opposed to the patents. There's no way they can assault a patent for sure, and, and probably take it out if a full company is doing it. But yeah, no. Having them shoot at a APC is pretty pointless. No, don't fix it. <laughs> Touche, Snipe. Touche. <laughs> That's funny. Ah, oh, freaking. See? That's what happens when you don't do the pathing properly. And we just have our helicopters to move. Let's 
So we can land, drop down, load up, and take off. Move as far as we can. Do the same with this guy. Drop down. Uh, ooh, let's not move that to headquarters, just in case we need to refuel. And pop up. Take off. This helicopter can fly back to Kontan, hopefully. Oh, let's put him up in a high flight zone, because it takes a while to get over here. Way, way over here. He isn't even going to make it. What well, we made it, but almost out of action points. Okay. Otherwise, we've moved everything. Everything is moved. So let's end the turn, and let's see what the VC are going to do at... Our firebase, Georgia. Uh, we're going to have to figure out why that's doing that. It shouldn't be asking for a value. Oh, don't get hit. They're moving. At Firebase Georgia, you've increased your ammo levels by 25. Supply units will turn to Loch Ninh base area. Okay, that's good. And that's it. So, two airstrikes remaining, two headquarters, unable to provide supply, four units low on ammo, and we do have a Huey that is low on fuel at 99.83. Airstrike coming in. <laughs> Sounds oh, it's awesome, fantastic. Hitting that sniper. Did you get lucky and take this to help? No. Not about now. No, of course not. Darn it. Lost line of sight again. Oh man, that sucks. And we totally missed. Okay, this is the contention area, so let's just do an assault, see if we can get in here. We destroyed a B10 82mm recordless anti tank gun, and we gained some points. And we destroyed that part of the company, so we gained another 200 points. So that's good. And it was a bunker too, the buggers. Now, there's still a sniper down here that we have to deal with. So we will deal with that in the future. Um, or in the, yeah, in the future. I am wondering, let's bring in our headquarters. Drop it down. Let's get this Huey off the ground. We'll fly that back to the base. And we'll fly these Hueys back to the base. Heck yeah, kicking butt and taking the name tags. Haha, <laughs> that's funny. We'll land, he will refuel, then we'll have our helicopters refueling. Okay, we need some targets. Let's go find some targets. Uh, let's do recon. Okay, we found one. Let's do another recon. Oh no, he's not there. Yeah, I don't want to risk. We're going to use another 
Loach for that. We're flying really low. Let's do another recon. Nothing. One more. <gasps> Don't die! <sighs> Come on. Okay, let's do a recon. No. What the heck? We've lost two... There were two VC platoons here. We don't know where they went. That's not good. Can I do one? Let's do... Yeah, let's not. Because I will run the risk of losing my helicopters. Okay. Gunships. Two hexes. Can we fire? Yes. Yay for hogs. So, again, hogs are armed strictly with rockets. So that's all that you hear. Let's uh, fire at... Now that we have this taken, oh, there's that sniper. Can we see? Can we see him? Oh, we can. Let's just fire with everything we got here. Oh, sneaky! Shooting back. Ah, uh, the new update, the 1.23 update, should be available the second or third week of October. Is what we're hoping for. Probably the third week. That's the plan. That blasted sniper ran away. Ah, we got lucky and killed it. Ha <laughs> ha! Perfect. Okay. So, I'm feeling more confident now that we've secured this firebase. And I'm going to start pushing out next turn. And we're going to try and deal with this infantry. Uh, we do have a lot of weapons here. That will help us do that. So let's utilize all of our support and start causing some mayhem. Now I'm going to lose points because I'm targeting a village, but I don't care because I want to destroy uh, that platoon. And I have line of sight to that, so I sh it shouldn't drift. We should be okay. Well, let's continue on with our construction platoon. Let's double time him. And that notification said that we did supply Area Georgia's firebase, so I can take this supply truck and send it back to the base. Going to rain down hell. Yeah, exactly. Zippo raid those hooches. You know what? I don't have any flame tanks. I wish I did. So, I do have an escort truck down here, and I think I'm going to move that back. I'm going to move my escort truck back. Just because I don't want to forget about it, and then when it comes time to loggering in the right position, if these guys are down here, and then darkness comes, it'll take five turns to get back to, just because it's dark, right? So, we have our Brigade Task Force. This will give everyone really good supply levels, which is fantastic. Uh, our helicopters are flying back to the base to refuel. How is the other LRP doing? How are they... Um, they are not getting resupplied very well, but they're still here. And, yeah, their resupply is just not working. I do need to... I haven't added that new unit yet, but I will add that new unit, and when I do, I'll incorporate it into this scenario, and I'll edit my file, my playing file, to uh, bring that on the map, and then we can we can fly that somewhere into Cambodia, and hopefully, that'll help. Uh, question: Should I make that supply unit have the same uh, re the same uh, supply? replenishment as like a battalion headquarters it would just be a one unit one side one one strength point unit and it's not designed to be going out and moving around so i'll probably have it so that it costs you a hundred action points to move the thing no matter where it is or what it's doing so you can only move one hex at a time no matter if it's a trail or whatever um with the idea is that, okay, you can put it onto a landing zone and then move it off into the trees or something, but I don't want you to be going around with the 
the supply unit and acting as a another LRP unit in the background. So no, yeah. Have it dedicated to the LRPs alone. And yeah, high movement cost. Yeah, so it would it would strictly be a special forces supply unit, but it would it's not gonna have the same stats as a LRP team or a special forces team at all. It's gonna have a moderate defense, probably limited limited attack. Once it's arrived, could it be fixed? I don't think so, no. And if it's fixed, then I can't fly it. So, for example, the idea would be, you know, we have a... Let's, let's take a look at our regular supply, our brigade supply. Where are they? Uh, down here somewhere. So we have our regular supply cache, which is here. So you see this? This is a, a supply cache, and it has a decent defense. It's a six defense, but it's a zero assault. And this one here doesn't move. It can't move. So I'm thinking something like this, but smaller, obviously, because it's going to be like a small cache. But I might give it... I'll keep the zero assault because, yeah, I don't want you to be screwing it around. But I'll have it so that it's mobile in the sense that super high movement costs. Yeah, and because I wonder if I can have it so that you can't even spot with this thing. It's just going to be a supply unit. But it'll have... If the enemy locate it, then you're going to lose it. Simple as that. Or just airdrop a cache. The problem is I can't airdrop if it doesn't if it doesn't have the the proper special forces flagging the way that this game works uh, or the operations in Cambodia. If you don't have a special operation, or if, sorry, if you don't have a special forces, the let's take a look at the special forces. If you don't have if you don't have what is it? Yeah, the special operations flag then you can't land anywhere no matter what unit it is in Cambodia so it needs to, it has to be a special a newly created supply unit that has that special ops flag in order for me to be able to land it at one of these landing zones unfortunately but i can have it come on to the map regularly at you know, one of these airfields. It's, for example, this airfield. We can say that, you know, some time has been spent to collect a, a cache for the Special Forces team. It's up to you to pick that up and send it into a location where you think you're going to need it somewhere in Cambodia. Keeping in mind that the... What? What are our Special Ops units? That would do what I was suggesting, keeping it solely for the... Yeah, so it would have to be a brand new supply unit that has the special ops flag. Basically, is what it boils down to. And I can, I can, you know, I could even call it LRRP supply or something. Special forces or special ops supply or something. So when that comes onto the map as a reinforcement, it's like, okay. if I would say, if your LRP teams have been in Cambodia for 100 turns combined like you have more than one <laughs> yes yes it does create more work for me but it's cool work it's really good suggestions um if your lrp teams combined have spent 100 turns in cambodia then poof you have this reinforcements coming at this airfield saying okay your units are in dire need of supplies load this up into a helicopter and take it to one of the take it to a landing zone um, and then you can move it where you need it. So it'd be up to the LRP team to decide, okay, am I going to go secure a landing zone? And if I am, where is it going to go? That way it'll, you know, or my units, considering I've lost one already. <laughs> Unacceptable. Boo! Unbelievable. Can't believe I lost one. So, next turn we're going to do some attacking there. Let's go back down. I think we're done. This guy still can't do anything. These guys are going to dig in. And we're going to build a... Uh, 
Yeah, we're going to defend this area. That's the plan here. These trucks, we're going to move up to our fire base. And that way we have at least two infantry companies that can be mobile by road. Uh, this guy belongs where? To here. And this guy is the same. Now where's your... Oh, they're all there. Okay. This construction platoon, we can start sending him back. And he walked into an IED. Oh my goodness. These trucks, we're going to bring up to this firebase. This is the area Minnesota firebase. And then we'll have two companies that have enough trucks to, to go by to move around by truck. And I don't know what the met tomorrow's mission is going to be for this battalion, but at least we'll have the vehicles around to move it if we don't have the helicopters, because all our helicopters are not here. They're all south. Uh, speaking of, yeah, so all of our gunships are here. They're getting refueled. They are refueled. And, yeah, we are good there. Let's go down to Conthan. We need to move this guy towards there. We need to move this here, unload, and start walking down the trail. And this guy can just go up to there, unload. I'm really glad we didn't run into a sniper. I didn't even think to be cautious. I just went. <laughs> I just went. Unbelievable. We do have engineers here, though, and we're going to clear this block. And what we're doing is uh, securing our right away. Our main supply routes. We're also going to start building in. Uh, let's move. We'll start building a base there as well. We have more engineers. More engineers. This is our leader for the ACR. That's the task force headquarters. So let's put our leader there so we can identify the headquarters quickly. Let's unload. Let's move this helicopter out of the way. Let's drop it down and then drop it down and unload. This Chinook can take off the high flight zone and then go as far as it can. Which is quite a ways actually. And we have these helicopters which are in the low flight zone but we're going to bump them up to the high because then they can fly all the way here. Oh, that's the other thing I was going to do is change the cursor size to large and enhanced there that's big can't miss it now I'll still highlight it though for the, the YouTube video okay these guys are gonna fly in here pretty quick uh, let's figure out what we're going to do with these vehicles. What do we have? Another infantry company. Let's unload them. Let's unload them. And let's get them sorted out. trucks. Let's just leave them up here. That's a stupid set, so let's bring them over here. I'm going to move my engineers probably by APC, 
now that I have a whole bunch of APCs available, just for protection, because these trucks are slow and they're very expensive to lose, so I don't want to lose them. What's this? Machine gun. I don't think they did. Uh, historically, how would an LRRP? Yeah, no, they, they wouldn't. No, they they went in with what they had, and they'd spend, uh, depending on the mission, is would depend on what they did and how long they would be there. But typically, they're not they're not expending a lot of supplies because all they're doing is watching, right? So they're not getting in. They're typically not getting in combat, so they wouldn't need to expend a lot of supplies except for food and whatnot. But typically, the missions wouldn't last longer than a week. I don't think. I don't remember off the top of my head, but I think it was about that. They spent a, a few days or a week in the field. Supplies. Bridge engineers. Ah. So this is the this is the team that goes with that A four. The, the cavalry unit. Sorry, this is taking a minute because I need to organize my my unit here. So here's a good example of Trying to keep your units together by utilizing the the color or the high, the organization of the trucks. So I did that. I organized the vehicles by the company, but I just didn't put them off in the right spot. So that's my own doing. Uh, cavalry. So look, there's a cab unit that has four APCs in it, so that'll be good to, to haul some engineers around. These are supply units. They belong to the... to... what do they belong to? The brigade? I'm just kicking the tires trying to come up with a way to get around the resupply issue. Yeah, no, I know, right? All right, our supplies have arrived at Conthan. Nice. So we will just leave these supplies here. I think those are the battalion supplies. Yeah, that's right. They're the battalion supplies. So let's keep all them together so we know where to find them. Because tomorrow, this battalion is going to have a to have to be out in the field. We have to figure out where they're going to go. So we'll have these supply trucks somewhere useful. And this engineer is here, but they have an ACAV. Oh, this this will be complicated to, to figure out. Let's just zoom out a bit and move these vehicles quickly. Sort these out next turn because not enough action points. So we're going to be sitting here really pretty with Hunter ammo levels for quite a while because we're just going to be repeating getting new new supplies new supplies new supplies for the rest of the uh the turns here i think which is impressive that's good for us it keeps our everything organized and i think all we have to do is just move our helicopters and we're done but we did move them yeah no we're done okay let's continue Maybe have Jason incorporate a farm sim into it as well. They can grow rice and hunt. <laughs> funny guy, funny guy. So that error actually could be preventing the VC from doing a proper attack here. 
um, I would have I'll have to I'll check behind the scenes to see which company this is flagging and if that's that company that explains why it's just sitting there because it probably did something straight away and then it tried to go to the second thing and it can't do it because it's being recognized that it needs a value where it shouldn't need a value it should just need a true or a false but that's something I have to figure out with Berto Yay for live streaming. And you can see the errors as I make them. <laughs> Yay. at Firebase Minnesota, you've increased your ammo levels by 25. These supply units can return to unlock. Okay, perfect. Three airstrikes remaining. So just as a, a quick description about the airstrikes, each day you'll get a set amount of airstrikes. Um, if you use them, they will replenish until you've burned through all of your airstrikes for the day. Now we've burn through I think it's two airstrikes that we burn through and we don't know how many airstrikes we have available during the day so you have to be very careful about how you're going to you know use them all when you're going to use them all but you have to keep in mind that there you're going to max out for example we're going to max out at three airstrikes for for this day to have available at any one time that doesn't mean I only have three airstrikes for the whole day that just means that on any given turn, as long as my airstrikes have been replenished, I'll have three airstrikes available. I think how I've done it is that day one, day two, day three, you get about 10 to 15 airstrikes per day. Now, they're not cumulative. Once that day has passed, and if you didn't use the 10 airstrikes on day one, you don't get them. They, they're, That's it. It's done. Day Day one is done. Then day two, you might have 12 airstrikes. You don't know how many airstrikes you're going to have available during the day, but that is probably a good number. So we've used three already, or two have come in. I don't remember if the third one's come in yet. But yeah, you we've used three, so we probably can do this three more times and still have airstrikes for the day. Uh, in some other games I've played in the past, if your units were in a defensive position for this scenario... They had stockpiled ammo supplies while remained in that hex. Once they moved out of the hex, they would forfeit the stockpile. Not sure. Not sure if there's an automatic resupply of the LRP if they sit for hex and not. No, there, there, there isn't. Because supply works on a higher level than the individual platoon level. That's the, that's the issue. So I need to have a supply unit or a headquarters unit close to that supply, that LRP, in order for it to catch the die rolls that it needs. But just by itself, no, the LRP unit can't regain supply by some magic number, unfortunately. Because it's a next level up issue. And Stipe is saying, so there's a fixed amount of airstrikes for a given scenario with some rules. NRG for available, I guess. What does NRG stand for? So here, let, let me explain. Let's see, have the artillery go through. We can't see anything except for this. Oh, we did cause some damage though, that's good. All right, so let's go to, so in this 80 or something like that aircraft available, I don't remember exactly how many, but all these aircraft are available for this scenario. And then it's up to me to say, and uh, maybe because it was the dialogue that I opened, is it better now? This is a test, test, test. 
Let's just check this out. Do you hear me? I'm here. Do you hear me? Test, test. Done anything yet? I'm still here. When we're talking about the airstrike model and how it works on. You are in for about five seconds, then we lose you for about 20, 15 to 25 seconds straight. Holy crap, really? I can't kill that. Let's kill this. And see if that helps. Just started doing this within the last minute. Hmm. I'm the only one on the Wi-Fi, so I don't know why it's doing that. But then, yeah, normally I'm... I'm hooked up into the machine, legit, wired. Ah, uh, you know what? Even my phone is, is going slow. Doing good now? Let's just do a confirmation to make sure that it's doing good for everyone. Unbelievable. Well, hopefully it's not so bad if you're watching this on YouTube. If you're watching this on YouTube, then let me the aircraft system. Each scenario has a set amount of air. Those are that we're playing yet. Each turn it could, until, in this case, for this particular scenario, I only have, as later on in this, I might only have 10 air, whereas day 7, I might have 30 aircraft. I don't know what that daily number is going to be, but you'll see, using the aircraft, they will continue to be, and that's not going to be. So, for example, if strikes in, I would not see any more airstrikes available being replenished until day two, where I would say, oh, it's a new day, you have new airstrikes. You don't know how many that's going to be totally, but you'll just see that I have X amount of air power until I use them, basically. So, if it's coming up to the end of the day, hey, why is they're not going to them in the future? you have available to plot so I can take from this pool of aircraft and there's a lot of aircraft that I can choose from keep in mind depending on the aircraft type like for example if this f-105 is chosen it only will come in, I won't have that but if I choose something like this an a4 where it says it's a multi strike strike capable aircraft that means it'll do its attack once and then come back and do its attack in the future so it goes back into the pool for you one more time kind of cool kind of handy um is this it guys is it any better is it kind of crappy what's going on let me know going back and not acting up maybe if i change the view it'll less stuff less packets maybe i killed a bunch of stuff so i'm kind of hoping that that helped. Well, let's talk about this then. So here we have the LZ Georgia Firebase. We have the, the Firebase built, which is great. We do have infantry here defending it, which is also great. Because normally, you know what? I wouldn't even be doing this. I wouldn't normally have defenses at my fire bases until I've cleared out the areas. So we got really, really lucky here that this got attacked while I had infantry there. So good thing to keep in mind. Because um, the other ones, they'd be out here clearing this, this these fields up, right? And unfortunately, it looks like we're not... I don't know how many turns it is. Let's take a look at the turns. Let's take a look at the turns. Oh, we still have 19 turns left of daytime. That's enough to clear all that, so we're not worried about that. This being the case, here we are at LZ Georgia, Georgia 1. We have built a fire base. We know that there's a reinforced company out here that is VC. So I think we're going to be confident enough, and we're going to go in there and start attacking that. Before we do that, though, 
I'm going to drop my helicopters down really close to the front line and we are going to refuel so that they are good to go all of our helicopters for our assault and we're going to start pushing in and clear this intersection so that's our road we need to that's our main supply route these other helicopters can go back up here and refuel our construction engineers they can go back our dozers Let's see if we can build or lay a mine no not today still can't believe we ran into a minefield and took more losses yay or something uh, this guy we want to actually continue south and this guy can come back Not sure how it is. I'm just in 2D mode right now to see if that works any better. I don't know if it is. Let's pull this truck back on the other side of the bridge. These engineers are clearing. We have some support. Let's load these guys up, bring them over here. still bad? Is it too, any better at all? Let's just pause here for a second, let things catch up. Just pausing, just uh, let me know how things are going. I'm presuming it's bad. Yeah, I'm presuming it's bad because even my phone is not working. I'm not getting access to anything. Nope. Yeah, the internet slowed. Seems okay. Oh, well, that's good. Because my phone is not working. Okay, let's continue. So we sorted out this. We, we decided we're going to get these helicopters refueled before we continue this attack. But we can. Uh, plot some artillery. Let's go down south. These vehicles can head back to Hanlock. These construction team can head back to Hanlock. And here we have a whole bunch of trucks. Let's get them on the road. There. Let's take a look just so you can see. We have all these armed trucks, which is enough to haul one company by truck. And the, the mortar carriers are, are here already. So we all we do is load up these infantry and we're good to go. They're pretty much all loaded. Okay, that's done. We have our Arvin supply. These guys are still building. We have an American supply here. Anyone curious? Here's a link with some recordings that were broadcast to spook the NVA and VC. Oh, cool. That is cool. These guys are done. Now let's. Oh, we need to move our vehicles. Oh, is that a roadblock? Oh, it is a roadblock. That's why we can't go through there. Now let's go down to second, second area. So 
secured, secured, secured. Okay, now this is area, I think it's Arizona. Is it Arizona? Area Arizona. Okay, area Arizona is now clear. We don't see any VC NVA points in there, so in five turns or so, we should get our points for that, 2,000 points. Let's see what our status is right now. Yeah, we're much better. We were 9,000, almost 10,000 in the hole, but now we've gone up. We've improved our position here. We've also uh, killed more points worth of VC than we've taken losses. That's a good thing. Uh, significantly different than our experience in the Mekong. Yay! These engineers have done their task. Oops. Oh, now we have to organize these guys. Let's just do that quickly. Build. Build here. Let's build here. Let's build here. We're just going to build a whole bunch of improved positions and leave the trenches to those guys. They built something now. Let's do the same over here. These helicopters can come in for a landing. down, drop down, drop down, unload, and we're going to refuel because we need to, and this helicopter just has some machine guns, and we can drop down, drop down, drop down, and unload. So that is the, the machine gun that belongs with the battery, so we're in the same hex as the battery, just for simplicity, for future, future use. Now, there is... There is a little landing area here. Let's see, what do we have? We have a really big airfield here. And I need to organize this a little bit better. Because we have helicopters coming out to yin yang. And let's put that up, fly as far as we can. Move these gunships out of the way. Drop down. And then let's grab these gunships. Also get them out of the way. And lastly, but surely we have... Where are they? There they are. We have more gunships. So we have all of our gunships in here, just for now, until I can get everything else organized. This is our battalion supplies, so we want to keep them in a place that have really close access to the road, right there. Let's move them all into here, because we will need them in the future. Oh no, I forgot to move things. Let's move this company off the road. Let's move these guys. And these guys will go over here. Uh, that's their trucks. Let's get everyone's trucks together. move double time this guy all the way up here trying to keep our infantry companies together because that's important and these are just spare trucks so just put them here. that supplies goes there So 
again, I'm trying to find armed trucks that are at least three strength points so I can move companies together as one unit. So this is good. So that allows me to move two companies by truck if I need to. There's more trucks here, but some of them aren't armed. Like these trucks aren't armed. These are just extra trucks. These are all extra Jeeps. These are all brigade vehicles, right? No, definitely not. I have so many trucks, it's insane. But, in this type of scenario, they are completely useful. Because we have a lot of movement to do, and you'll see that as we continue on. We have an armored cavalry unit, which is awesome. What's this? Uh, these are our main supplies. So here, these are the brigade supplies. We've arrived at uh, Conthan, so they have to stay here for five turns. And then this, this particular unit will head north all the way to Anlock, and we're going to escort that with gunships and our trusty duster that we have here, because we'll probably get ambushed, and I am nervous about that. So our, MM, our machine gun jeeps, our dusters, and you know what, we'll probably send one of these engineers up the road to start clearing it. Oh, you know what, we can start doing that straight away. Um, yeah, we should absolutely do that. So let's grab one of these. Oh, do I use APCs? What do you think? Where are our APCs? Uh, nope. Nope. Here's one. We're going to load up one of these engineers, and what we're going to do is we're going to start sending them down the road to start clear, clearing some of these mines and the blocks to help with the operation and escorting of that supply vehicle. Oh, I'm actually kind of nervous about doing that. Let's move our supply vehicles up, or recon vehicles up here. We're going to start preparing for that move. This engineer is done. We can load this one up. So this is the the engineer. This engineer is the one that's going to be tasked that needs to finish its, its things. Maybe send along a tank with the engineers. Um, yes, we should. The problem is I have to have the tank back at the base, back at Conthan by the end of the night. So we can send the tank for a while, but we can't keep it there. And that's the other thing, we have to send the APCs back as well. Oh man, it's convoluted. So some of the troops can't be out in the field, whereas some of the troops can. These ones, they can be out in the field, I believe. But most of this stuff can't. It has to be loggering where it's supposed to be loggering. Damn, Fubar, very realistic. I know, right? <laughs> Gosh, be darn it. Uh, did we move everything then? I think everything's moved. Yeah, everything is moved. Okay, let's end the turn. That's irritating. I'll have to figure out why it's doing that. Uh, pan up to where those VC are. That's Firebase Georgia. These will all refuel because we have our Brigade Task Force Headquarters here. Maybe not though because it's low on ammo. Low on supply I mean, sorry. Of 
NBA con moving. Or NBA, or both. Three airstrikes remaining, three units low on ammo. We have built an improved position and we did clear a mine or a block. Oh, we caused more casualties. Than that. That's good. So I think that error that's coming up is actually a flag because of this particular NBA rifle unit or VC rifle unit because. If I remember the script that I did, I had this actually overrunning the firebase, and they're not doing that. So whatever that error is, it's causing them to just sit there, unfortunately. So yeah. On the bright side, this gives us an opportunity to uh, go attack them. So let's do that. Is that another freaking recoilless rifle? Really? Or RPG or something like that. Can I get in there? I can't even get in there. Oh man. Okay, let's see if we can assault this. So that was good. Our artillery did knock that down enough twice, two turns, in order for us to easily overrun that. I'm happy about that. Now, there was an RPG team here. Let's do some firing. Actually, wait, before I do that, let's take off with our loach. Let's see if we can go track it down. There it is. There it is. Now let's fire at it. And let's fire at it. With this. Okay, so we didn't have enough to assault this, but we can do it next time. And let's just pull back our helicopters. Let's get our gunships in the sky, as well as our other loach, and get it ready for attacking next run, or next turn. Uh, we'll leave this guy here for now. We'll clear out this flank, and then we'll encircle around it and start clearing that out. Just to be safe, we're going to grab our artillery, hit there, hit there. And we have another mortar. We'll do the same, probably hit this side more because I think there's a bigger unit here. And let's pull back our trucks just so that they're safe. There we go. That's what we're gonna do. That's our plan of attack. We're gonna clear out that infantry company because it's stuck. Yay! Let's see if we can lay an IED. Yes, we did. We were successful. I, IE won. So we're slowly encircling locking in here, which is good. This guy is not recovered yet. I don't know why he's not recovered, because ammo levels are 98, and there's a brigade headquarters right there. You know what? Let's just move him closer. They're on the ground. They're on the ground. Everything's on the ground. Our construction platoon is back at Loch Ninn. Our escort for the supplies is back at Loch Ninn. So that's good. We're happy about that. Uh, this infantry, how is it going to get across on that ford there? That's a pain. That is a pain. Let's bring these loaches down just to see if there's anything down here. No. So we're going to send this gun team back. Let's get them landed and starting to refuel. Oh, we ran out of points. Darn it. Clearly he went too far. Uh, this guy can start coming back. Oh no, I ran into the same minefield. 
and got hit again. Oh, seriously? <laughs> oh my god, and he got disrupted. Crap, he took two hits on the same minefield. Freaking fire truck. Unbelievable. Can't even blame John for that one. That's my own fault. Man, that sucked. We have our escort, the, the, uh, the engineers here. They're almost done, though. They've only got, uh, what, just this block over here to do? And I think that means that they're done. Seriously, I can't believe that. We might send a, a pink team down here to see if there's any other ambushes along this road, because we're going to start meandering up this road, I think, back with the engineers and whatnot. So let's just park here. Let's park here. Let's unload. Call that safe for now. Can't believe that. Can't believe that. Because normally, when you find a minefield, even if you caught, you know, you've taken losses on it, then you kind of like staked it out. We know that it's here. But as I've explained before in previous scenarios, that yeah, no, just because you've seen it and you're you can move through it, doesn't mean you're invulnerable. As shown, I just got wiped out. Darn it. Unacceptable. Uh, they're still digging in. This construction platoon can come down and help. This is all set. We're pretty much done here. We have nothing else to really do. We can just maybe dig in here just for the heck of it. Otherwise, they're all good to go. Uh, this platoon. We have two different companies here operating together. They're still nine, trying to build something. These guys are all done. Yeah. We're happy here. Let's go down south. We moved them. Let's go further south. Okay. Move these guys back to their trucks. On the bright side, these guys haven't taken the losses yet. Guess I shouldn't jinx it. Uh, let's see. These are going here. So we have the team that we need to have here doing its thing. Let's just unload this so I know what's what. This guy is going in here. These guys were all going into this lovely new position. So these guys, they're all going into that lovely new position. He's still trying to build. He's still trying to build. This guy's loading up. And you know what? We'll take this group here. We have a recon team, we have a tank, and we have an engineer. Now we're going to send them up the road. And we can even go up into town, maybe? No, not that far. Our supply vehicles, we need to keep them close within the hexes of the center area. But this is the brigade supply, and this is the units that have to go north. So we're going to keep them probably here on the main road, so we know that. And these two units we're going to bring down here to escort them. With this engineer. Unfortunately, we went off the road. Darn it. They're waiting. They're waiting. These guys are also waiting. They're spread out, but not too far. Have good eyes around this area to clear the road, because our first task is to clear this minefield, and then that minefield, and then this roadblock, and then this mess up here. Okay, that's good. Now, our helicopters, they're ready to go. Actually, do we need them? 
Let's take a look. Uh, yes, we still have a lot to move. We do have schnooks around here somewhere. There they are. Drop them down, drop them down to the ground. Can we load? No. That's good. What's this? The other Chinook. We can bring that Chinook all the way down here. Drop it down. We can get it ready to where it's going to land. And we only need two, two more helicopters. So where are they? There's one. We can get him up and flying. And then the second one is there. Get him up. Flying. There we go. Last two helicopters and then the, this last helicopter will stay here. Start digging in this airfield. What's this? Supply cache. What do you belong to? What? You're, you don't belong to anything or what? First Aviation Logistics. Oh man, you belong all the way up north. So let's start sending one supply truck all the way up north. It has to go to lock in. No, and lock, sorry. The airfield at and lock. So that'll be our guinea pig with this team here. While our engineering task force goes up to clear. Oh, sucky. That's sucky. Otherwise, we're pretty much done for the turn. Let's go check out our special forces team. No, he's still not good. Hmm. I'm half tempted to uh, pick up that team again and bring him back just to rearm because it's taken way long. Anyways, we're like well over two hours, so I think we're going to cut it there. But before we do, a uh, question. Based on the current situation, I would like to do this again next on Wednesday and Sunday, but I'll leave it up to you if you think I should. Or should I just record the sessions off offline so that it's not choppy and stuff like that? But if you want to tune in, I'm going to do it Wednesday at 6 again and then Sunday at 10 again back to our normal schedule and then I'll be driving home that Monday so I'll be back to my main machine not this Wednesday but next Wednesday what do you think should I continue doing it trying is it really bad I don't know it's up to you let me know hopefully this recorded properly and I will be posting this to YouTube if not sorry <laughs> Uh, might as well try cat. Okay, yeah, that's fine. If if it's okay and you don't if you don't mind being patient a little bit while for the next week, then yeah, I'll continue doing it because I think for me it's uh, because of the time difference. I generally miss Wednesdays. No, fair enough. That's true. I'll keep doing it anyways. Might as well. I mean, if you guys are tuning in, then heck, let's do it. Um, Mind you, it's a holiday, so I might even try and do it earlier on Wednesday. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Usually on Wednesdays, I can't because I have to work. I have a regular day job, obviously. But I'm on holiday, so maybe I can do it a little bit earlier next Wednesday. Just for you, Stipe. Okay. On that note, time for me to log off and see if I uh, can save this for YouTube. If you are watching this on YouTube, and it did work, uh, have any questions, leave them down below. Happy to answer them. Uh, I don't know how this is going to look on YouTube, so fingers crossed that it turns out okay. Thank you so much for tuning in. I know I'm a little bit late today. I really appreciate it. I appreciate your support, appreciate the questions, and really appreciate all the, the input and the exciting new things that I can try. 
Oh yeah, things are getting really, really good. I'm excited. On that note, take care, smile always, and talk to you soon.